that room you're in looks like so much fun. You got all those records. Are those? Is that your entire record collection, or is that just one small That's portion? Just what I brought down to listen to in here. No, it's it's uh, thirty times that. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's just some good stuff. Alice Cooper? Uh, yeah, there's some Alice Cooper in there. There's some Welcome hmm. to My Nightmare. Nice. Captain Fantastic sounded good the other night. Yes. Uh, Fugazi, there's about six Fugazi records. Ah. Fleetwood Mac, because my wife and I like to have kind of dance parties. They, they, We've been having these garage dance parties. All those guitars on your wall, are those your personal guitars or are those guitars people gave you? Those three right there, those are what we call them Rickenbackers. Yep. Now... Did you like the band? Absolutely. So that bass actually belonged to Rick Danko. And if you see the last waltz and he's playing the weight with the staple singers, and that's actually that one there. And the three guitars over your shoulder there, those are your personal guitars or those ones that, that belong to someone else? You know, I grew up with certain kind of guitars that uh, were like the holy grail of guitars. So in the middle one, that one, if you plug it in, it, it actually lights go on on the inside. It's called the Rickenbacker Light Show from the huh. mid-60s. It's a little too gimmicky for you, isn't it? I mean, I'm surprised that's your thing. But it's an amazing it. invention, you know. Have you ever played that on stage? Just once, yeah. <laughs> um, the one on the right is a, they call it a convertible. So it was an invention they used for like a year and it can either go from six strings to 12 strings. You kind of have this little device. I like the weird invention, kind of the weird shit. And then the one on the left, you know, I was looking for one of those for a while and there aren't a bunch of those left because Pete Towns and those were the ones that he was smashing all the time. Uh Oh. I heard that they used to smash them, but they they had a guy who put them back together after the show because they didn't have that much money to who in the beginning. <laughs> Did you ever read that? Well, yeah, the guy's name was Pete Townsend. Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> he told you. Screw them back He'd together. Screw them back and... together. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> 